G'day guys, Clint here from Quicksand Flooring. Today we are showcasing some spotted gum decking. This deck has already been sanded. You can see behind me that we've already put a first coat on this one. This is a 38 mil spotted gum plank, so very thick, dense timber. All up on this job, we've got about 180, 190 square meters of decking in total. It comprises of four decks, the largest one being around the pool. We're gonna be coating it with two coats of Walker exterior oil. We've got a few examples of it over here. I personally like the teak colored oil on spotted gum. It gives you enough sun protection while keeping it looking really natural and nice. So the options that we've got is 750 mil tin. If you're doing a small little job or you're doing some furniture, you'd use the 750 mil tin. We've got a two and a half liter, which is what most customers would be using for a small deck. Or if you've got a big job, then you'd just invest in a 20 litre drum. Walker has the applicator pad with the handle. It just slides off when it's, when it's finished and done and you can buy replacement pads for it. So the reason we're using uh, the Walker product, I've used many, many products over the years. Walker is what I find the best. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be the longest lasting product on your deck. Nothing lasts outside. We're right on the ocean here. The salt, the sun, it's gonna kill anything, especially timber. But what's nice about the Waka is when we use it year after year, every 12 months, we're going to get the same result. The most important thing for me when I'm picking a product for a deck is it must be penetrating. You want it to sink deep into the timber to protect and seal it, but it mustn't be film building. When you have a film building product, with every coat of color you put down, it's going to get darker and darker until you end up with a brown deck and you lose all the grain and no one likes that. So the Waka, it's very simple and very easy every 12 months to maintain. Maintenance is the key when it comes to decking. You want something that's quick and simple to maintain. You don't want to have to sand your deck every 12 months it would be an incredibly expensive exercise to have to do that. So once it's been cleaned up and in a good state, now whether it, you've just had your deck sanded or it's a brand new deck that's just been laid, the application is exactly the same. You put your first coat of Walker down, thin coat, using the Walker applicator pad, put a pole on and just a standard brush. You're cutting around your edges with the brush. You let that dry for 24 hours and then you will put your second coat on the next day and then it's done. I normally tell my customers to leave their furniture off for, for two to three days, put their furniture back and they are good to go. A couple little tricks and tips that, that I've learned over the years. You'll see today it's an overcast day. Overcast days are the best days to be coating decks. You don't want to be putting it on in the harsh sunlight or you're gonna end up with lap lines, picture framing, um, all the usual stuff you get when you put product on in a 40 degree heat, it's not gonna work. Cutting in, we, we, we go across the boards. So we're cutting across the boards, and then once we go across the boards, we feather it out so that we don't get a hard line across the planks. Otherwise, we can see there's a bit of sun out right now. It's sort of a bit patchy at the moment. Feather it out so there's not a harsh line along there. Then once he's cut in, I can come along with the applicator and finish it up. Gonna go across that line. And then we're just gonna pull it back. And then always lifting up and pulling back. All right, pulling up. Done, simple as that. So I like to like do it like this. And then I like to just go boom, 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 done. So dip it in. Put it like you can just move it backwards and forwards just to get the product on. Yeah. Getting the product on like this. But see that I've got that line yeah, there? Yeah. So then I'm just going bang, bang, bang. We're going to be roughly look, this is gonna use more than usual, 
This is a 20 litre drum we started with, um, 180 to 190 square meters. So we're gonna use the full 20 litre drum. We might even use more than a 20 litre drum because this spotted gum is extremely porous. And like I said, it is literally like coating a sponge. We're probably gonna use about eight square meters per liter. The first coat on this one. And then the next coat will probably use about 12 square meters per liter for the second coat. But this is not a typical deck. A typical deck would use a bit less than that. On average, if this was brand new spotted gum, we'd be using probably 12 square meters per liter for first coat. And then we'd be using probably about 18 square meters because the timber's not gonna be anywhere near as porous. So you don't wanna pour the product onto the deck. If you poured it out of the bucket onto the deck, you're gonna lose, you just might as well take your money and burn it. So you wanna put it on, you don't wanna flood fill, it's not a paint. It's a penetrating oil. So this applicator's actually designed to put the perfect amount of product on. It's got foam on the inside with then some fibery bits sticking out. So it's designed to, you put it in the bucket, saturate it completely, and then that's enough to go up and then back. And you get about that much area done. Go over it a few times. Now, if you can see pools of liquid, you've got it on too thick. And then you can pull it back and it leaves the perfect amount of product if you just pull it back without really pressing on it. Never use a roller. The Wokka applicators are very easy to come by. I like Wokka because it's a whole system and they make everything that you need. If I put my applicator in and then put it on, that's far too much. You want it to look even. We've still got too much product on here, so we'll just move it around a bit. And there we go. Just like that. So we'll put the second coat on. First coat was done yesterday. Another nice, beautiful overcast day for coat and decks. Perfect. Um, it's quite early in the morning, 9 a.m. in the morning. We want to get it done before it gets too hot. And yeah, just put the second coat on. All we did was we came in and just uh, took the took the blower and blew off all the sticks and leaves that were on the deck this morning. And now we're putting the second coat down. So it's been about 14, 15 hours. You want to leave it 12 hours minimum between coats. Between 12 and 24 is ideal. We're putting quite a decent coat on because it's a very, very porous stick. So, not too thick, but we want to give it good coverage, especially since the ocean is right to there.
All right, guys, this job's finished for this year. Um, we'll hopefully be back again in 12 months time to give it its annual wash and maintenance, but it's all been sanded. It's had two coats of Walker exterior oil in the teak color. All done, all finished, ready for its protection against the elements. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you on the next one. Mads will kill me if I don't tell you to like and subscribe.